Welcome to UK Learnings. After watch this video, please subscribe to our channel to give us your support. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get upcoming videos. Good luck for your exam. A physically disabled driver passes their driving test in a specially adapted vehicle. How will their driving license be restricted? A. They'll have to keep within certain speed limits for three years. B. They'll have no restriction on the type of vehicle they can drive. C. They'll be restricted to vehicles fitted with suitable adaptations. D. They'll only be allowed to drive vehicles with automatic transmission. The correct answer is C. They'll be restricted to vehicles fitted with suitable adaptations. Explanation. When a physically disabled driver passes their driving test in a specially adapted vehicle, the license issued will include restrictions. These will require the necessary modifications to be fitted to any vehicle they drive. You're driving at night. What does it mean if you see a pedestrian wearing reflective clothing and carrying a red light? A. You're approaching roadworks. B. You're approaching an incident black spot. C. You're approaching a slow-moving vehicle. D. You're approaching an organized walk. The correct answer is D. You're approaching an organized walk. Explanation. The people involved in an organized walk should be keeping to the left. The walker at the back of the group should be showing a red light, while the one at the front should show a white light. Pass slowly and safely, and be aware that the pedestrians have their backs to you and might not know that you're there. What should you do when you're teaching a profoundly deaf pupil? A. Write everything on instruction cards. B. Give instructions slowly and distinctly while stationary. C. Speak or shout very loudly. D. Give visual explanations while moving. The correct answer is be give instructions slowly and distinctly while stationary. Explanation. The safest way to communicate and give instructions to a profoundly deaf pupil is when the vehicle is stationary. You'll need to communicate slowly and distinctly, using a combination of methods, including the use of diagrams and gestures. You're driving along a dual carriageway and have to brake hard in a straight line. Which wheels do most of the braking? A. It will alternate from one side of the car to the other. B. The front wheels. C. It's evenly distributed between the front and rear wheels. D. The rear wheels. The correct answer is B. The front wheels. Explanation. When brakes are applied on a car moving in a straight line, they slow their rotation of the wheels but the rest of the car tries to continue moving forward. This shifts more of the car's weight onto the front wheels, making steering more difficult. If the car is cornering when the brakes are applied, the weight shifts both forward and towards the outside of the bend, thus the weight is loaded onto one front wheel. In severe cases, this can lead to skidding or even cause the car to roll over. What type of injury can be prevented by a correctly adjusted head restraint? A. Whiplash injury. B. Facial injury. C. Wrist injury. D. Knee injury. The correct answer is a whiplash injury. Explanation. A properly adjusted head restraint can help to prevent whiplash injury to the neck and spine. You're most likely to suffer this type of injury if you're hit from behind by another vehicle. You're driving on a motorway. Something falls from your vehicle. What should you do after you've stopped on the hard shoulder or in an emergency refuge area? A. Wait in your vehicle for the emergency services. B. Place a warning triangle behind your vehicle. C. Remove the object from the carriageway immediately. D. Use the nearest motorway telephone to inform the authorities. The correct answer is D. Use the nearest motorway telephone to inform the authorities. Explanation. Drivers are responsible for ensuring the security of any load they carry. However, if something does fall from your vehicle onto the motorway, you must inform the authorities as soon as possible by using an emergency telephone. Never try to retrieve the item yourself. When can you park on the verge or footpath? A. To load and unload. B. To pick up passengers. C. When you're stopping outside retail premises. D. When parking signs allow it. The correct answer is D. When parking signs allow it. Explanation. Generally, Vehicles shouldn't park partially or fully on verges, 
footpaths or pavements. However, it's becoming more common for this to be allowed on some narrow streets. Special parking signs will show where it's allowed. You arrive at an incident where someone is suffering from severe burns. How could you help? A. Burst any blisters. B. Apply lotions to the injury. C. Pour cool liquid over the burns. D. Remove anything sticking to the burns. The correct answer is C. Pour cool liquid over the burns. Explanation. If someone is suffering from severe burns, you should douse the burns with a clean, cool, non-toxic liquid. If any clothing is stuck to the wound, don't try to remove it. What do zigzag lines at a pedestrian crossing mean? A. Slow down to 20 miles per hour. B. Don't sound the horn. C. No parking at any time. D. Parking allowed only for a short time. The correct answer is C. No parking at any time. Explanation. The approach to and exit from a pedestrian crossing is marked with zigzag lines. You mustn't park in this area as it would block the view for pedestrians and traffic. Overtaking the leading vehicle on approach to a crossing is also illegal. How should you overtake a horse and rider? A. Drive up close behind, then pull out slowly. B. Sound your horn once to warn them you're approaching. C. Pull out wide while revving the engine. D. Pass them slowly, leaving plenty of room. The correct answer is D. Pass them slowly leaving plenty of room. Explanation. If a horse is frightened, it may bolt or shy unpredictably, and the rider may lose control. To reduce the risk of frightening the horse, you should not make any unnecessary noise. Pass it slowly and give it plenty of room. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please subscribe UK Learning's YouTube channel share with your friends and family. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get more videos. Your support will encourage us to make more videos. We wish you all the best for your exam.